Hello, good morning and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video is all about uh, the sites that are outside of the city centre of Chiang Rai. And our first stop today is at this temple. Now, I don't normally do modern temples, but this is pretty exceptional. It's called the Blue Temple, but its name translated uh, from Thai means Temple of the Dancing Tiger, because once there used to be tigers in this area. In the early 21st century, this was uh, a neglected temple until the students of the guy who built the White Temple uh, came here and started to do this kind of thing, started to build like these guardians here. And it was all completed in 2016. It is, uh, as you can see, quite a popular tourist destination. So uh, let's take a look around and see what there is. So I'm right uh, beside the uh, the main river that runs through the city. I'm not going to pronounce its name. It's K O K. <laughs> and we've got um, some caves here, and they're called Buddha Images Caves. There's actually a, a proper name because it's a temple here, which I can just see a sign for. So I'll put the name of the temple up. So as you can see, we're right on the river here and we've got this Buddha statue that's sitting on top of a rock, looking towards the city actually. So I've come to this uh, arts and cultural centre or park and they've got some fantastic buildings here which I'll show you in a second but uh, it's almost like a botanical garden, beautiful place. It's not cheap to come in, it's 200 baht 
and that's the same price for tyres as well so but we'll take a look around and see what there is I think inside these buildings I mean I'm just right beside a beautiful one here looks like it's made of laterite but inside some of these buildings they have some art installations So this is the principal building here, absolutely beautiful building, looks like it's all wooden with some very ornate uh, wood carvings, especially right up the top there. Okay, so I've just come up uh, a small hill to this temple that's a few kilometers south of central Chiang Rai. And you can see here, this in front of me is uh, like a bear-like creature. And his name is Sihu Hata, and it's a northern Thai deity that's worshipped in order to bring wealth. And as you can see, he's got five eyes and four ears. And I'll put on the screen the significance of having four ears and five eyes because they do mean something. But I've not seen many of these statues on my travels around Northern Thailand. I think I may have seen one or two.
And what this temple also offers is some great views. As you can see, there's some fires and smoke going on, so it's pretty hazy in the distance. Okay, so next up is some hot springs. Not been here before, so don't know how good they are. So uh, let's go and see what they're like. Let's see how hot this is. People are just putting their feet in. So I guess it's okay. Doesn't say how hot it is, but uh, let's see. It's pretty warm. <laughs> A proper hot pool here. And then uh, over the bridge, it says, we've got some uh, more bath houses, some private baths. Just over here. Obviously you have to pay extra. We have to pay. Basically you can use the foot pools for free. So in that building there. Okay, so lying about maybe 9-10 kilometres north of the city centre of uh, Chiang Rai, we've got this amazing museum. If you're ever here in Chiang Rai, you have to visit this. I've been here once before and it's absolutely amazing. I'm not going to go in now because unfortunately they're going to be closing soon. But what I'll do is I'll put some pictures up on the screen and I'll explain some of the history behind this museum because it goes back something like 40 50 years and it's called the barn dam museum which basically means black house and you can see here why it's called it's got it's part sort of architectural wonder museum part temple and part sort of just very strange. <laughs> um, strange artworks, crocodile skins, lots of um, antler bones, uh, buffalo bones, skulls, that kind of thing. So uh, I'll show you some pictures of it. But this is the entrance anyway.
there's three parts of this temple. We first got a, a nine-story Chinese pagoda complete with dragons. And then behind the main temple building here is a 79 meter high uh, statue of Guan Yin, which is the goddess of mercy in Chinese uh, folklore kind of thing. And the whole site here was established in uh, 2001. So this building in front of me is actually a hospital. It's named after the temple and it says hospital for the general public. Okay, so the final stop on this video of all the sites uh, outside the city of Chiang Rai is probably uh, Chiang Rai's most famous site, the White Temple. In fact, it's probably the most visited site in the whole of Northern Thailand for that matter. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. And what I'll do is I'll flash up some information of how this temple came to be, because it's got a bit of a history uh, and it's all associated with just one man, one artist. So I'll explain um, on voiceover exactly how it came to be. Towards the end of the 20th century, the original temple here was in a bad state of repair and funds were not available for any renovation. Enter a local artist, I'll put his name up on the screen, who decided to completely rebuild the temple using his own money. Why did he do that? Well, he believes that his work will be seen as an offering to Buddha and so expects it to give him mortal life. He was actually born in a local village and studied art in Bangkok before being awarded scholarships in Sri Lanka, Germany and England. Whilst in England, he was in charge of a mural painting project at a temple in Wimbledon, the first traditional Thai Buddhist temple of its kind anywhere in the UK. The White Temple was first opened in 1997, but had to close for a while in 2014 after an earthquake inflicted serious damage. The main building is accessed via a bridge known as the Cycle of Rebirth, which crossed over a small lake that features hundreds of outreaching hands that symbolize unrestrained desire. The bridge proclaims that the way to happiness is by foregoing temptation, greed and desire. Inside, murals depict swirling orange flames and demon faces, interspersed with Western idols such as Michael Jackson, Neo from The Matrix, Freddy Krueger and a T-800 series Terminator. Images of nuclear warfare, terrorist attacks such as the World Trade Center attack and oil pumps hammer home the destructive impact that humans have had on the Earth. The presence of Harry Potter, Superman and Hello Kitty confuses the message somewhat,
but the overall moral is clear. People are wicked. So as well as the White Temple, you've also got this golden pavilion building which is dedicated to the Hindu god Ganesh, who uh, is the god of fortune and good luck, prosperity. So when you come here, don't forget to also come and visit the Gold Temple. And it's accessed by a bridge here, you can see people walking over it. But inside there's um, various uh, exhibits about uh, Ganesh. And these are the toilets here. <laughs> Probably the most elaborate looking toilets in the whole of Thailand. All of Asia for that matter. And that's where I'm going to leave off this video for now. If you like it, then uh, give me a big thumbs up and why not subscribe to my channel down below? Until the next video, see you later.